Welcome to P3, I'm Randall Mark. This is the show that explores the fascinating people, places, and perspectives that make up our world. On today's show, we take you to the lowest place on our planet, the Dead Sea. Then I meet up with a doctor who may have discovered a cure for AIDS. This is P3. The Dead Sea on the border between Israel and Jordan is the lowest place on earth at 1,300 feet below sea level. Translated literally from the Hebrew as the killer sea, it's completely devoid of animal or plant life. Nearly six times saltier than typical ocean water, the salinity makes it impossible to sink. A popular spot to visit and source of minerals for cosmetic products, Canadian friends of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem took P3 to the Dead Sea to see this wonder for ourselves. Ami Dotan, an alumni of the school, was our guide. Ami, I'm standing uh, just uh, quite a ways away from the Dead Sea. What's the significance of this sign here, 1985? 1985, sea level was up here. Now we'll have to take a shuttle all the way down to the Dead Sea, wow. which means that the water is receding about a meter a year. And there is a threat of the Dead Sea being totally dried out. And, and what's the threat to uh, Israel? Does Israel need the Dead Sea as far as uh, how they get water from it or what do they do? No, we don't get water from it for irrigation or anything like that, but it's a big resource of minerals and potassium and, and stuff that the biggest uh, uh, pride factory in Israel actually produces minerals from the Dead Sea. Hmm and the Jordanians as well. So what we are doing now, actually, the southern part where the factory is, is dried out totally. So what they are doing is they are pumping water off the northern part and pumping it into the southern part where the factories are and the hotels are. Mm. So uh, that's the significance of, of the Dead Sea for us and for Jordan, which is just on the other side. Right. The mountains that you see over there are Jordan already. So that's, that's the significance as far as the industry goes. So what about the fun stuff? I'm, uh, I'm hearing that you can kind of lie in the Dead Sea. Is that true? You can kind of float? You are going to read your magazine floating on the Dead Sea. You're going to be black all over from the mud and you're going to enjoy it. Okay, I get to uh, hang out and uh, put some mud on me, float in the Dead Sea. Let's go. You go ahead. All right. So, me, we're here at the, right at the edge of the Dead Sea. There we are, yeah. So uh, now it's it's saltier than the ocean. Explain that. Oh, it's much saltier. Like the percentage of salt over here is of salt over here is 21 percent, whereas the ocean is only three percent. Wow. So it's a huge concentration of minerals. We are at the lowest part of the world, obviously, the natural part, and this is why we have so many healing uh, 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 traits, right. both of the water with the minerals, and from the sun because you don't burn over here. Oh. It's so low that you don't burn because of the UV rays huh. are being filtered by the additional uh, layers wow. of air so uh, it's the healthiest place this is the healthiest place it's yeah. the lowest place and the healthiest place yeah. i want to go out there experience it. i want to lay down i want to read a magazine <laughs> sure? i want to get that mud and go and do it thanks so much Ami. you're welcome Let's i join you it. okay <laughs> Oh, we can't have a white patch on my back. We can't have a white patch on my back. Ah, that's it. That's the way. This is nuts. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I feel so nourished, and uh, this is all for P3. The mud you just saw is actually pulled out of the Dead Sea and trucked about a kilometer from the shore, and it contains cleansing and medicinal properties. Coming up a little later, the discovery of an HIV-resistant population. But first, we talk with an Israel-based Canadian artist who retraces her family roots on canvas. She's next on P3. 